Hey guys, so I've gotten a lot of questions recently about the modules I use on my stream game. While there are of course way too many to go over in a single video, I figured I'd go over the 8 most important Pathfinder specific ones that I use. But before we get to that, all the maps you do see on my stream and here are on my Patreon. Currently that's about 70 fully detailed over at mapped, walled, lit, and tiled scenes made for Foundry exclusively. So if you like what you're seeing here, feel free to try them out. Now on with the modules themselves though. So, the PF2E system, it's one of the most well-developed out there, but they haven't really filled in all the gaps just yet. These modules as I show them are in no particular order, but we'll start with one of my favorites, Duraco UI. It's a favorite for a reason, because at its base, this module brings the core Pathfinder theming to your games with paper backdrops, tan borders, and all in all that Pathfinder feel without going overboard with it like some UI mods might. But the most important part for me is some of its extra features. There's a lot going on here that you can play around with, but my two recommendations will be to change chat message header theme to player color, so that it's a whole lot easier to recognize who's talking, and checking adjust token effects hood. This is best for those of us who use circular tokens, as it makes the buffs show up outside the artwork rather than covering it all up, as you can most well see in my level 15 Bloodlords campaign here. But all in all, it's been an essential module in my kit for years now. Now if you're looking for pure functionality, this next module is basically essential. That'd be PF2E Workbench. It comes as a suite of settings that automate actions, allow for variant roles, and just generally improve the flow of play. Just like Duraco UI, there's a ton here, but the settings that I can highly recommend are skill actions, which bring a ton of useful buttons for rolling things like grapple, feint, and other common player actions. And they even give the DM a comparison to the correct DC, as long as the player was targeting who they are grappling, for example. Do keep in mind though that, uh, like with Duraco UI, some of these changes are client-side, so you'll have to get your players to change them on their own end to see the results. Otherwise, there's stuff for adding free archetypes to sheets, auto-reducing frightened conditions at the end of turns, and much more that just makes your life as a DM so much easier. Definitely a must-have module here. But on the topic of automation, let's have a look at PF2E Flat Check. This simple module rolls the required flat checks for difficult activities, such as attacking a hidden creature or casting while grappled. Just apply the correct condition to the token, and it'll roll a d20 even with the correct DC displayed. It's been pretty good for forgetful DMs like myself. But as for this next module, it's less about functionality and more about teaching players the importance of teamwork in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Oftentimes, a player might not know that a bard's performance made their strike a crit, or that an enemy's attack just barely missed because it was frightened of the sorcerer. PF2E Modifiers Matter highlights modifiers that make all the difference, for better or worse, so the players can quickly learn just how important flanking, buffing, debuffing, healing, and dispelling are for winning the toughest fights of Pathfinder. I certainly would highly recommend this for any group new to the game. Speaking of buffs though, it can sometimes be difficult to keep track of all the active effects in a fight. That's where PF2E Extempore Effects comes in, allowing any chat card to be made into a buff even if it doesn't have its own bespoke effect. This is great for things such as Poison, where it'll even keep track of the correct duration automatically. You can even pair this with PF2E Effect Description, and easily reference the saves and damage without going searching through the chat log again. Simple modules both of them, but very nice to have for keeping track of so many effects. But something else on the player's side that they may have some trouble keeping track of is daily preparations. That's where PF2E Dailies aims to quicken the less common daily preparations, such as Scroll Thaumaturge's daily scrolls and familiar abilities. While it doesn't handle spell or crafting daily prep, it does just enough to shore up the smaller things that a player might even just forget about. And likewise, setting up staves for spellcasters also used to be a hassle, but that was before the release of PF2E Staves. Just drag any staff into a caster's inventory and a spellcasting entry will be generated, complete with the correct amount of charges per the caster's level. Easy, simple, and makes it much more fun for your players to expand their spellcasting repertoire. Now if you do have a player getting a greater staff of fire, you'll also want to be prepared for when they start casting fireballs everywhere they go. That's where target damage comes into play. This essential module for AoE heavy groups makes the process of rolling all the saves and applying the correct damage so much easier. Just hold Alt and click the template for the spell once it's down on the ground, add them to the targeting of the chat card, and roll their saves all at once. Once the damage is rolled, you'll see it even guides you to applying the correct amount based on each save. This is one that has just been incredibly good for me in all of my games there because they can get pretty hectic at high levels. 
And last but not least is PF2E Giveth. This simple module streamlines player interaction, allowing players to apply buffs to one another and pass items between their inventories. Putting the action of dragging buffs all in the actual caster of said buffs rather than each individual player needing to do it themselves can definitely speed up combat turns, and as long as you trust your players with it, quick drag and drop for stuff like potions between inventories is just really nice too. And that is pretty much, in my opinion, all the must-have modules for Pathfinder 2e. There's certainly more out there of course, but these are the ones that just feel really worth it for every table. With that being said, check out my stream on Saturday nights over on Twitch to see them in action, and check out my maps over on my Patreon. Make sure to subscribe as well to this channel if you haven't already for more PF2E and Foundry content. Special shout out to my high tier patrons Conair on DVD, Tissad, and Crit Stai. With that being said though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!